Today is the National Day of Prayer. This day is an annual day of observance designated by Congress since 1983. KPLC Stephanie Obadiku was at the Lake Charles Event Center where there was a special guest speaker for the yearly assembly. Since 1983, this day has been celebrated nationally on every first Thursday of May. This year at the Lake Charles Event Center, the Profit and Loss Association of Southwest Louisiana hosted their yearly assembly. They said it's an opportunity for us to join hands in prayer for the well-being of our country, our leaders, and our fellow citizens. This year, though, we sold out the Civic Center. We had a uh, little over 600 people. In fact, whenever I was out there being self-proclaimed greeter, um, and I was greeting everybody, come, we had several people come in, and they didn't have tickets, and, and just go on in. Come on in. This is a day of blessing, and make no mistake about it. They've had a few high-profile speakers in the past, but this year they gathered to hear from former presidential candidate and the youngest ever director of pediatric neurosurgery at John Hopkins, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson went into detail about his struggles growing up and how God changed his life for the better at just 14. And then there were all these verses of, about fools. It seems like they were all written about me. And I, I, I spent three hours reading and praying and contemplating. And during that time, it came to me that the reason that I was so angry is because I was selfish. Especially with everything going on in the world, his message about God inspired the crowd and board member of Profit and Loss Association of Southwest Louisiana, Bruce Hamilton. But I believe wholeheartedly that people, there are a couple of things that gotta have to happen. We gotta get back to family and we gotta get back to God. And I truly believe this. There are more Christians out there that are silent. And in fact, in, according to his message, uh, was we have to be bold. We, we, we don't have to be disruptive, but we can be bold and stand up for Jesus. In Lake Charles, Stephanie Obadihu, 7 News.